Um, this work is kind of fairly typical of what I've been up to for years now, uh, which is really a kind of meditation on uh, human desire, um, human idiosyncrasy, um, something I think that kind of underpins um, or predicates almost everything we do. Uh, political or otherwise. So it's kind of about human motivations. Um, my focus is on what kind of humans desire to make. So uh, using a, the idea of a boat, I'm not that interested necessarily in boats, but I chose it because it's a kind of, um, I suppose, a, a symbolic thing that human beings maybe aspire to make. Houses, boats, etc. Um, the work really, rather than the danger of it, is it comes out just like a boat, when it's fairly like a boat. Um, really what I'm trying to do is embody the actual making process or the intention to, the, to actually make something actually in the works. It's almost like a, a document of that making process. Uh, to that end, um, I took pretty well process-based strategy, which is um, I had a space and I built the boat to that space. Um, I decided to work without a plan, um, without a tape measure, um, and basically built by eye what I thought was a boat. Um, based pretty well on one of those little fishing clinker boats that you see lying in paintings with a seagull on top. Um, it sort of came out as a sort of 16th century um, Mary Rose, I think, in the end. Um, if I'm to be critical of it, um, I would say that it probably came out a little too perfectly and it doesn't maybe show up as much as um, my trace as I wanted it to. But it has become another interesting thing in the world. Um, I think the lovely thing about this was that when I walked into the space and assembled it, it was the first time I'd actually seen it because it was built precisely to the space. Therefore, I was kind of walking in close proximity to it, on it, in it, but could never walk away and see it. So I think it was a surprise. I think I'm relatively pleased with it.